This is the XDS200 emulator from uh, Spectrum Digital. It comes in convenient package of 5 by 4 inch uh, box. Inside you find two anesthetic bags, one with the adapters, the adapters and one with the uh, emulator itself. Also with the connecting cable, USB cable. The emulator is very compact, comparing with the uh, Beagle Bone, a regular uh, Beagle Bone board, and it comes standard with a TI uh, 20 pin uh, connector. The emulator is also powered via a micro uh, USB connector and, uh, and the cable is actually provided as I showed before. The three adapters provided allow connecting to the ICE 14 pin the ARM 10 pin, the mini one, and the ARM 20 pin. The emulator itself also has two LEDs, one to display power, the other to display JTAG activity. The XTS200 is connected to my Beagle Bone through the uh, TI 20 pin connector. And as you can see, the left LED is turned on, indicating that the emulator is ready to connect. When I do this, you see that there's some activity in the right LED and the left LED turns off indicating that the connection was successful. CCS53 is the first release that installs support for the XTS200. I'll create a target configuration and show the uh, XTS200 support. and I'll use a big old bone as my target board. Also the test connection button works just like uh, in, in other uh, XTS emulators. Close this. Now I'll launch the debugger to see the performance. It is actually possible to feel it is a lot faster than the XDS uh, 100. This message, uh, this message box that says uh, configuring debugger is actually uh, part of the debug launch and it's the same for any emulator. But now it starts the emulator performance itself where it loads the gel, actually runs the gel, loads the code and runs to main as you can see there. And you can actually do the step operations. You can see it is it is very fast too and also the update on the variables view.